Hi, welcome to Mad Max channel. So today doing a quick unboxing and review and a small tiny little discussion about a product. This product happens to be the Gigabyte GCWB1733DI. <laughs> Why not just call it a Wi-Fi card with double Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. So this here being a cheap card. Yeah, it was cheap when I bought it. Uh, so it has AC 160 megahertz, whatever. So it's the standard 18 to 11 protocol, uh, rated at 1733 megabits, and uh, designed for desktop PCI. So it uses two two 1802 11 AC thingamajigs. It's 160 megahertz dual band Wi-Fi, and it has Bluetooth 5 inside of it. Typical box, it's usual lot of rating things and stuff like that. Uh, nothing much really on the back, anything. It says what's included, the PCI One Express card, uh, USB uh, cable, I'll explain more on that one, and antenna. And the antenna, as far as I'm aware, is magnetic. Anyway, inside the box, we have the initial card itself. I'll show more about that one in a second. The antenna, I'll show more about that one. The USB cable, I will come on to something about this USB cable because there's something that puzzles me. Uh, a driver disc and a user manual. Installation guide. Right, installation guide is a Frisbee. Every computer is different, every installation is different. Your situation may vary depending on operating the systems and blah blah and updates, right? Don't need box. Off we go. So disk we may need, potentially, depending on how faffy Windows 10 happens to be. Let's open up these packages. So USB cable here. So the reason it has USB as far as I've understood is is for the Bluetooth. For some reason it can't do the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth over PCI Express one line. I can only assume it's because the piece, uh, the Wi-Fi is using the entire bandwidth. It's the only thing I can think of. Even so, it's on the same card. So, the USB cable here is fully populated. What I mean with that is it's using both lanes of the USB. Keep that in mind. So, it's using both lanes of the USB. So, it's basically using two ports worth of USB. You could have two USB, two ports on your computer connected up with the use of this cable here. Keep that in mind. The antenna. Um, some people have rated that this cable is a bit short on it. It's a cute antenna, I'll give it that. So I don't see how it's magnetic. Yep, that is definitely not magnetic. Um, or if it is, it ain't got much magneticness beyond it would be nice no it's not magnetic so if you're sticking it somewhere right cable length yeah that's a bit dinky that could have been a bit longer so i'm six foot two i'm gonna hold this in my hand so it's basically <laughs> there we are that's the length of it I don't have a measuring tape lying around. I don't need a measuring tape. I know it's about one meter. So the cable itself could have done, been a little longer than the one meter. Because hell, if that was on a bottom piece I slot on my computer, just that desk here, um, it would just reach the desk. Which means every time you <laughs> pull your computer forward to, um, service it or whatever you would have to disconnect the antenna or let it fall behind the thing for some stupid reason is also covered in way more plastic than necessary to unwrap and including the cables oh yeah just to point out two gold connector things to plug into the card right i might as well come to the main attraction of the show that is the card itself There is, just to point out, 
no short height adapter bracket for it. So if you're buying this here for a media PC, keep that one in mind. However, uh, you could, seeing as there's plenty here, just bend it and chop it and stuff like that. You could modify this bracket to do short height cases. But as such, it's just a full height bracket. Yeah, it probably would fit inside one. Right, so the thing itself has a laptop chip. Yes, you've just not heard that one right. It is using, basically, a riser with a, a laptop chip. Not a bad thing because it's an Intel chip. It's meant to be a really good chip. It's meant to be reliable, very powerful and stuff like that. Uh, has the two antenna ports for the dual Wi-Fi. One of which must be using the lanes for the Bluetooth. But the thing which puzzles me is, you know I was saying it uses two lanes of USB on the cable? There's a USB port on it, just in case you don't happen to have a free heather on your motherboard. But it's only got one USB port. But according to this cable here, it's also using two. And it's also got the pins on the back of it for two. Does it only reduce the bandwidth by half? But the part which interests me is, is why is it needing ports? Why does it need a USB cable in the first place for the Bluetooth? Why is it not just passing it through the PCI Express lanes? I won't ask. Sure, might be bandwidth limitation, but why wouldn't it just have a single lane if it's got a single USB port? That is probably the only confusing strange thing about this card. Now, um, I will obviously plug it in, install it, test it, and I'll patch a piece of video onto this here. So yes, we'll see you later in the next piece of cut. You know. So, good news, it works. Pretty much without having to even attempt to use the driver disk. So, if you happen to have a Windows 10 PC, and it's updated, it seems to just pull the files from wherever Windows keeps its uh, <laughs> drivers stored. Um, the only thing behind that one was, I gave the computer a restart to make sure uh, the Wi-Fi was definitely going to work flawlessly, and it does. Uh, so, plug the card in, build Windows, give a restart, uh, log into your wireless, and the reason for that one is, is the USB drivers, it has to pull off the internet, but at least Windows can get you to the internet for it to then download the Bluetooth drivers. Uh, once they're installed, you don't need a restart for that one, it works off the bat. So, um, Wi-Fi performance, top notch, can't complain about it, there's nothing wrong with it. It's basically the same as using an Ethernet cable, quite frankly, which is weird. Um, the Bluetooth itself. It's fine having a game controller and headset running simultaneously, so you can have multiple devices running at the same time. The Bluetooth range itself is better than a little USB dongle. That's for certain on that one. Um, yes, if I was the manufacturer, the only thing I would change is the cable length for the, what do you call it, the antenna. If the cable length was, say, a metre and a half, two meters it wouldn't cost them that much to put some extra cable on it i don't mind paying 50p more because it's a nice small convenient sized antenna it's just a little bit short um don't get me wrong it does its job definitely does its job but yeah that's the only thing i would change if i was the manufacturer besides that it's great uh don't get me wrong i didn't bother with the installation manuals and stuff like that no point you just plug and play just about plug and pray. Um, yeah. Uh, so yes, on that note, I'd like to say thank you very much for watching this video. If you've got any questions, feel free to ask. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Cheerio.